everyone was expecting things to start out red and then turn blue sort of overnight as we start getting in other votes from different areas. Okay. Right. Let's look at Michigan. Right now, with about a third of the expected vote in, the president is ahead in Michigan. If you're not super familiar with the process, so it's going to be a kind of back and forth. So you go to bed Tuesday night and everything looks good for Trump and you wake up the next morning and, and things are looking better for Joe Biden. One more, Michigan as well. Trump was saying, well, this had to be fraud because, you know, at 1030, we were ahead by 100,000 votes and then by two o'clock in the morning, now all of a sudden we're behind by 100,000 votes. We're just getting this. These are people bringing them in in coolers. There's no one around. We started seeing evidence online that these were magic votes, you know, that somebody showed up somewhere with a whole bunch of blue votes. Looks like one of those lockboxes. I wish I could tell. Yeah, there were a number of viral images and videos purporting to show mysterious suitcases and wagons being brought into the TCF center carrying ballots. So one of them actually turned out to be a WXYZ photographer carrying in his camera equipment. I thought the polling places were closed, and yet we have a box. There's this massive room with tables, and people are all counting the ballots. But just roaming freely on the floor were all these challengers, hundreds of them. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Down River. Okay. I'm here because of the 38,000 ballots that arrived here at 3.45 a.m. that are just now sitting over there and getting counted. Okay. If you don't understand how their process works, then it's easy for somebody to say, oh, I saw a van pull up in the middle of the night and unload a bunch of boxes, and you to be like, ah, see, there was something going on there.